There are three major factors upon which the effects of electrical shock toward human being, which is 1. The amount of current 2. The path taken by the current 3. The duration of the shock So how much current does it take to kill a human being? The answer is very little. A current of as little as 10 milliamperes flow through our heart for 3 seconds would be enough to kill us. Different amounts of amperage affect the human body in different ways. Let's see how our human body will react on electrical shock at various amperage levels. Less than 1 milliampere. Not noticeable. It is safe for human at this amperage level. Our human body has an inherent higher resistance to electric current. Which means without sufficient voltage a dangerous amount of current cannot flow through our body. Rule of thumb, voltage more than 50 V is sufficient to drive a potentially lethal current. More than 1 milliampere. Sometimes human does not feel any electrical shock at 1 milliampere. But occasionally a tingling sensation may be felt when this amount of current flow through our body. At 2 milliamperes or more. Most of the time, human may encounter a very mild shock at this amperage level. But not too disturbing. At 5 milliamperes or more. A person experienced slight shock and numb too. Human started to feel a slight painful shock at this amperage level. Also at this level, the ground fault circuit interrupter, GFCI, or residual current device, RCD, will trip if sense the current leakage. Mostly of the time people still able to let go, however involuntary movements may cause injuries. At 10 milliamperes or more. Is the level where a person hard to release the shock. Currents above 10 milliamperes would paralyze or freeze muscles. When this freezing happens. A person is no longer able to release a tool or other object. In fact, the electrified object may be held even more tightly, resulting in longer exposure to the shocking current. At 20 milliamperes or more. A person to experienced serious shock. Including a painful jolt and loss of muscle control. The victim might not able let go of wire or another source of shock. At 30 milliamperes or more. Very painful shock. Muscular control is lost and totally not be able to let go the shock. Suffocation is possible at this stage. At 60 milliamperes or more. Respiratory muscles are paralyzed. Extremely painful shock. Also encountered severe muscle contractions. At 90 milliamperes or more. Will cause uneven heartbeats rhythm and paused. First degree burn started to be visible. Potential lead to death. At 100 milliamperes or more. Human's heartbeat will stop. It would lead to 2 RD degree burn to human body and high possibility of death. Survival rate after this level amperage of shock would be around 50%. At 200 milliamperes or more. Started entered into third degree burn and suffered the similar symptoms as mentioned in previous level of amperage. Often resulting in death and having only 30% survival rate after the shock. At 300 milliamperes or more. Nerves damage may occur and third degree burn would be very visible. May not escape from death and having 10% survival rate after the shock. 1 ampere or more. 
when the current increases beyond 1000 mA or 1 A. Fourth degree burns and severe muscle contractions occur. Most of the time, the internal organs do encounter damages. Death is almost certain and survival rate was only at 5%. More than 10 ampere. An exposure to such an amount of current could lead to a severe fourth degree burn. And dreadful internal burns can be seen, cardiac arrest does happen. Death is certain and survival rate was less than 1%. A standard household circuit that supplies to our power socket outlets carries 15 or 20 amperes. Let's study the consumption of common household appliances to clearly visualize the amounts ampere involved. And also gives you an idea of just how much danger there is in our home wiring system that we have always take for granted. Power consumption of doorbell was around 1 to 2 watt which draws about 2 milliamperes. Power consumption of charger and LED bulb were around 4 to 10 watt draws about 20 milliamperes. Power consumption of electric shaver was around 15 to 16 watt draws about 90 milliamperes. Power consumption of air purifier Fluorescent light and laptop ranged around 30 to 40 watt draws about 200 milliamperes. Power consumption of table fan, LED television and laptop ranged around 50 to 120 watt draws about 300 milliamperes. Power consumption of slow cooker, fridge, electric kettle. Water dispenser, bread toaster and air conditioner ranged around 150 to 1300 watt draws current up to 1000 milliamperes. Power consumption of bread toaster, air conditioner, electric oven, hair dryer and water heater ranged around 2200 to 3000 watt draws current exceeding 10 ampere. Most of us don't think too much about what goes on in the walls and wires of our home. We just plug in the electrical appliances and trust that everything is good to go. But after this video, I believe that you are aware of the potential electrical hazards lies within the electrical appliances we use daily. Next time when you plug in the appliances, please ensure it is in tip-top condition and safe for use. That's all on how hazardous electric current is. And how it the effect on human body. Thanks for watching and hope this video is helpful. Please click thumb up if you like this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel. By subscribing you will support me to continue sharing in this channel.